we need more men to be in this fight against toxic masculinity. Kyle Richard is the epitome of masculinity. This past fall, the SUNY Cortland senior recorded 71 total tackles for the Red Dragons, a little over a year after he was shot twice, preventing a sexual assault. In July of 2017, as Richard and his friend, Suleymanena, left a house party in Uniondale, Long Island, they heard noises coming from the bathroom. It was a girl crying for help. Aina started banging on the door. Richard followed. Uh, there was a, a guy, and, you know, trying to assault a girl. Mm -hmm. So we broke it up. Suleyman got to the perpetrator. I went to the girl to figure out what happened. And when I realized what was going on, I went to confront the perpetrator who, to see if he was around. And when I did, I did see the perpetrator. I went to confront him, and the perpetrator pulls out a gun and starts shooting at me. Kyle's other friend and former teammate Michael Abiola arrived to the party at that moment and was shot in the shoulder, simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. My mom. <laughs> I'm like, uh, how am I going to tell her this, what just happened? Because I realized at one point I was going to be good. I was just really concerned about Mike and making sure that he was okay. I had a feeling he's a strong guy. and. I've had a feeling he's going to be good. Sandra Richard is a police sergeant employed by the Nassau County Police Department for almost 29 years now. And she lives 45, 50 minutes away from me, and she got to the hospital within 20 minutes. So that's how you know she was, she was in a panic. Yeah, that was probably the worst phone call um, that I've ever gotten because you know, he's my child, and I've dealt with that sort of situation at work but never uh, with a family member. When I realized everybody was okay, I was like, oh man, my mom is gonna be pissed at me. After um, the dust settled a little bit and we had some time together and Kyle explained to me what had happened that night, I couldn't have been more proud of him, honestly. The bullets missed both of Kyle's femoral arteries by millimeters. Football camp was just a few weeks away for the junior and first time captain. I honestly, never expected him to be playing football, uh, at least not that season. I did not think that was remotely possible because he could barely walk. My mom, who is the strongest out of all of us, who police officer, she was an athlete and she does CrossFit and she's like, you know, she's not gonna let us get any excuses either. So that was big having close family like that. And then I have my, my support from my, my Malvern people, my Cortland people. I was just pretty much fighting for my life at that point. In the summer of 2017, SUNY Cortland linebacker Kyle Richard was shot once in both of his legs after preventing a sexual assault. With intense physical therapy with the Cortland staff in the clinic at Beth Page, Kyle made his return in just the second game of the regular season. He would not listen to anybody who would try to tell him that playing football that season was not a possibility. Something about football, it just drives you to just do more than you think you can. It was like, you know, just fight through. It's just football mentality. You just get through. You don't complain about anything. Instead, Kyle is using his words to speak out against sexual assault and gun violence. I, I just believe that if, if my voice can be heard, and I'm an athlete, I'm a football player, and this, there are stereotypes, um, and there are reasons for stereotypes. Mm -hmm. So I believe that a person with my platform can be used, can, this platform could be used to really help this, this culture of toxic masculinity. Watching him play in the college level after um, having uh, been hurt so badly, I was surprised. But seeing him speak, I didn't, I was more proud of that. And this is more of about a woman empowerment because it, I, I've always been fighting for, you know, racial equality. Like my whole life, I went to Malvern High School, the most diverse place, and nobody, there was like, I was almost sheltered because I didn't realize how much racism was, was really out there. Kyle has received numerous accolades for his heroism, including the Joe Biden Courage Award for Bystander Intervention, but perhaps more importantly, the kinesiology major that is set to graduate in 2019 has found his calling off the field. Men coming after him, they're touched, like they're moved, and some people are even crying, you know, some men are crying, and that's, that's all good stuff too, because, you know, showing emotion, that, you know, some people need that. Even imagine a victim seeing a man crying. Like this world is made up of all different people, some people need protection and some people are the protectors.
-hmm. So um, thank God for the protectors that there are people that need us because it gives us purpose. Don't be afraid to not look cool because at the end of the day, people know things are wrong, they just don't speak up and that's the problem.